This is the cheapest and most expensive Amazon ATV torture test where we're gonna find out if any of these are worth your money. So we have 10 different extremely intense pass or fail obstacles and the first one is the hill of death. Let's go. So there's gonna be bonus points if you do something awesome and points distracted if you, if you do something really, really stupid. And at the end, we're gonna add up who won, who won the most obstacles, assess the damage, and figure out which one wins. But there's a twist. Not only are we doing the $2,000 Amazon quad and the $900 Amazon quad, for $1,600, we have a 2001 Honda TRX 300 that we picked up on Facebook Marketplace. Now, it's ugly, but uh, it should give us a pretty good comparison between these and what, uh, something, what everyone's always telling me to do is like, just buy a used one. We'll see what happens. Caleb, buddy, you, you think you're gonna win? I know I'm gonna win. You know you're gonna win. I got the nicest, biggest, not necessarily fastest, but most stable quad. I don't know, man. I think I got you on. I got. I mine's just mine was put together by me. It's better looking and uh, it's got the best driver sitting we on top. We brought a tow rope, right? Just in case I gotta tow you out. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Hill of Death. We couldn't make it up with the Euro. A little more water. You have to go down here, straight through the water, up and the up way. it, up the hill. You go first. I'm going first? Yeah. No problem, baby! I don't know if there's like too much water in the intake or something. What's going on? You went that little puddle? Oh, I went through the little puddle. No, I got to the top of here. It was like, it like died right, like right as I came over the top. Obviously it knew I had to win and then it did that, but. Are you admitting defeat? Never. So to complicate things even more, if your ATV breaks, you gotta fix them with these. If you can't fix them, you have to drive my son, my three-year-old son's electric ATV on the course. Oh look, I put it in forward. While Caleb was working on his ATV, we did what any good friends would do. You gonna say anything? Nothing to say, Josh. My life's over. The next challenge is that tree. We have to get, sometimes you're in a trail, that thing ends up being in front of you. This one's gonna be between me and Harrison because, you know, I'm gonna bow out because I realize I'm just helping Harrison. I don't think he can get there. I don't think he can get through it anyway either. So we're gonna get him pretty good. You think you're gonna be able to make it up that hill? Please. <laughs> of course I can make it up that hill. Easy. Alright. 
you know, he was taking kind of like the low end of the stuff, you know what I mean? Like the easier stuff. And then I, pl I, I helped him plow out a lot of that, so. And just when we were about to disqualify Caleb from this challenge, guess who shows up? I'm back, baby! Yay! What's the challenge? You gotta drive through that. Oh, this is easy, bro. The next challenge is a three-way race from one side of the mountain through the valley and up the other side of the other mountain. On your mark, get set, go. I think I got a chance. <laughs> no! No! Dude, that was so funny, bro. I'm going down this hill, like, time is slow. What's going on here, Caleb? <laughs> Is the one ball you have holding your rack on the no, back? No, it might be due to the fact that we had like... Is that a mud flat? Six people on the back of this thing. You hand tightened every bolt. Dude, I think this bolt for the rear... Is that not coming out? Oh yeah, it's coming out, dude. <laughs> You're about to lose your whole rear end. Like, no joke, that's for real though. Oh yeah, for sure. Sucks to uh, not have checked all your bolts. <laughs> I bolted this rack on like a beast, dude. You didn't. You bolted on like a beast by putting two out of the six bolts in it. <laughs> dude, Caleb did have a pile that. of bolts after this <laughs> yeah. was done. With his hand, he was like... <laughs> Alright, next competition. Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain! Up and over. Oh, I like it. You gotta go up over the top? Yep, over the top. Okay. I just want to say that even though I bought my uh, my quad for 900 bucks off of Amazon, Harrison has still has the worst looking quad here. <laughs> Sounds like somebody who's bitter about their performance so far. The next challenge is the gnarliest hill here, and we actually have no idea what's back behind that bush. Do it. Oh, wait. There's a cone here. It's very important he goes around the cone. There's stuff up there that I probably shouldn't hit, like landmines and Bear stuff. Bear traps, probably. Hard set. Yeah, he's dead. He ain't. He ain't. Front brake is the worst! 
That guy's an off-road maniac. He can't stop. I don't think I'm making it up this. All right. Just give up, quitter. We moved the cone so it was right this way. Tell Harrison this, but he's doing a really good job. <laughs> All right, Harrison, we're gonna go to the next one. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> That's the moment of truth. It's too dangerous. <laughs> right, let's go to the next one. <laughs> and after the break, the next challenge: driving across that log up that hill. <laughs> Harrison goes first. <laughs> and for the next challenge. Death Hill number five. It was dumb. I didn't even want to go up it. <laughs> Stupid hill. So while I was having a great time doing awesome stuff on my child-sized ATV, I realized I haven't seen Caleb in a while. I heard it like clunk twice. See that? Josh, see it? Oh yeah. Underneath? Chainsaw. Oh! The chain's off because you're missing this bolt and they loosened. Oh! The bolt fell off. Uh, you probably tweaked it and then the chain just popped right off. Alright, this one's called Mud Pit Hill. We gotta go up to the, the, the center of that hill, we gotta creep down the hill to get to the mud pit, and then you gotta, you gotta creep through it, and then once you're in the middle of the mud pit, then you can actually go full throttle to try to get yourself out. It's going to show you how, how, who's got the best traction. I'm going to go first. Joke's on Harrison, I cut his brakes. I cut his brake line, so. So while me and Harrison are strategizing for the next challenge, Caleb is still trying to get there. There's no way your quad can get to this one. You don't think? No way, man. I bet I could, I bet I could get it. How deep is it? All right, next challenge, getting through this thing. I went up to my knees. Just... Harrison might disappear in this. <laughs> Yeah. 
And the next challenge, the big air challenge. Who can get the most air? Did you see that? That was like six feet of air. That was sick. This much air, man. The Honda was disqualified because it wouldn't start. And oh, how the mighty fall. So I think it was pretty obvious who the winner was. It was the only quad that didn't break down and actually made it to the end of the competition. But what did we learn during this competition? The Coolster did pretty well, except the less smallest bit of water. He went through a fairly small puddle. Water got someplace it shouldn't have had. And it, it kind of bogged down. It was acting goofy for like a, maybe an hour and a half after that. So somehow you gotta figure out that problem. The other problem we were having with this was that Caleb didn't put half the bolts in it and that's why this back rack was constantly falling off. The other issue that was not Caleb's problem was the fact that the, the, the bolts holding on the rear axle, two of them just worked their way out of it. And that came, that's, that's the way it came from the manufacturer. So we had no idea that we needed to tighten up those bolts or put Loctite on them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Loctite on, back on those bolts. That's why the chain fell off, by the way. We're gonna replace those bolts, get new bolts for this, put the body back together, and it should be a, I mean, it still runs good. It is still a little bit underpowered, but it, it, it got the job done. Now the Honda was, was probably by far the superior unit, even though it is still like two decades old and is ugly as anything. You're gonna have no problem getting parts for it, and it just, it kind of dominated in power and even in how much water it could go through, and it had great traction. We did at the end kind of swamp it out. It had to sit for a day, we replaced the plug, and now it runs perfect. So this is probably the best one we, this is definitely the best one we had. It was kind of a fluke, but you know, it had a great driver. The tail tail definitely won. It is completely underpowered. I'm confident. I mean, I would have, I'd be on a, a mile grade and I couldn't even start the thing. It needed more momentum. So if this thing had a, a different carburetor, which you could probably replace the carb for $15, if this thing had a different carburetor, I'm sure it would really wake it up, and I may, be, I may have been a closer contender in this competition, but the way it was stocked was completely underpowered. And let's be honest, it's probably not meant for a six foot two, 185 pound man. If, you drive, if, you know, if I was 120 pounds less, it might feel a whole lot faster. So in the end, for less than $4,500 combined, all three of us got to go out off-road, had a blast, had a great time, which is still cheaper than buying a brand new quad from one of the big main dealerships. So we had a lot of fun, that wraps it up. Don't forget to subscribe, we'll see you guys later.